All right, part two of this part. Um, find it really easy to just stand on top of this tank for as long as possible. Um, take a little snack if you need one. Now this part here, I didn't know this was a hunter, so I latched onto him. Um, so just stay right next to the thermal barrack. Um, if you still have your helicopter, by all means, stay in there. I didn't, so this is what you want to do if you're on foot. Um, um, I tried to get a helicopter here, I think. But I ended up not even attempting to go for it after a little while. Um, maybe I did go for it. Yes, I did. Okay, let's see. I think that I get shot down here pretty soon. And then I get shot down by, oh, I, by what I believe was the thermal bark. I have no idea. I think that's what it was. Um, little jerks just killing me for no damn reason. But now that I'm on foot again, um, the way you want to deal with all these hunters, since you're dealing with about four-ish, what you want to do is you want to make sure that none of them are attacking the thermal bark and just run around and do the bitch move. And if you guys are wondering what the bitch move is, this is the bitch move. Man, I just got nailed in the head with that. Um, this part's pretty simple. Um, just keep jumping around, giving them the little, little whip. The whip. Uh, family Guy reference for all of you. Yep, just consume them. If you see anything attacking the tank, just give it a hit. So it'll get distracted upon... It'll lose its interest on the tank. Hopefully. And then just keep going around. Uh, I'm using the long shot to grab onto the hunters because hunters give you a buttload of health. So this part shouldn't really be struggle to stay alive. And if it is, then I don't know what's wrong. And just keep consuming. Yep, just keep everything off the thermal bark. Um, there might be some smaller infected trying to hit it or something like that. I didn't even have to worry about them, so. Chances is you won't have to either. It's really weird how the thermal bark doesn't even bother defending itself. So just keep on going here. really fun. Alright, now he's going to move up. 
thinking that it's all clear. She's wrong! But... Did a nice street sweeper right there. Alright, here he's gonna open fire. Or he's gonna try to open fire. Depending on how much health your Thermobaric had um, when you got hit by the Hydra, depends on how much you'll get for when you take over the Thermobaric because now the driver's dead. Just jump in there. Um, that cannon is extremely powerful against the Hive. Um, for me, it was at about half health. So, um, don't worry, the thermal bark's extremely strong. And even if you die when you respawn, considering you just got a checkpoint, the thermal bark will be at full health. So, um, you get a checkpoint after you destroy that hive. Now you just need to go for the big ass hive. Oh, the core hive. I was just stop. I was just pausing there to see my best route. Um, make sure you know which way you're going in, and you know what you're doing. Um, unfortunately, you're kind of um, weak to hunters because all you have is a main tank round and then the thermo bar round. So whatever you do, just keep moving. Don't stop for anything. You can always shoot back at hunters, but don't stop for anything. I think I get hit by a car up here and it does almost no damage, so you're pretty much in the clear. And there I used one of the thermobaric rounds, which turned out much more devastating than I thought it would. So just fire one round into there in. and I'll see you next video for the Supreme Hunter boss fight. Oh boy.